like a lot of the from print difference. I don't want to be in this. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, uh, so I want to talk to you guys specifically about things you want to consider when you are bowling for the money. When you're bowling for the money, they think about. So I got two other competitors with me. I got uh, Chris Muldrow and John Savoy. We all are in the building. And what we're going to do is we're bowling for money and we're going to talk about what we're thinking about while we're doing it. So, so I'm going to flip the camera around and what I'm going to do is let everybody kind of, nobody's had any practice. Well, that's not true. He had like five shots. But anyway, I'm going to let John John go. John John is first. John John will go first. We're going to hold the camera and talk to you about what we're thinking about, what we're seeing. So Chris, we're gonna kind of evaluate John John. I throw no shots. I didn't even have a bowling ball that was made in the last three or four years, but that's okay. We only got one ball too. There's no uh, there's no shooting spares. That's a pretty good shot. We to shoot spares with our strike balls. To make it a little bit more challenging. So that was a good shot, John John. So tell me about that shot. What do you think? So uh, that was like, uh, I had like two or three practice shots. So I had a chance to see the lane in the way I wanted to see it. I just went up there and tried to make sure I executed the first shot really good off my hand. That way I get them something to look at. Maybe they don't strike. Well, we're going to find out how it works out. We're going to see. So now Chris, he only got, everybody can only use one ball. So I literally grabbed one, the one bowling ball that I had in the shop that we could actually use. Chris having some thumb problems. John John, hold the camera real quick. I'm going to go grab my, uh, my towel. We're using the USB-C 2020 rules, dry towel only. Ball was actually light though. Yeah. He had a message to take out the, take out the 10, the, the 7, seven and the 10. 10. But I'm thinking that that's real intimidating. No, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Nah, see, that so, a, so they analyzing my strike, but what they don't understand is that I can do that all day. No, he can't. They call me the expert no, bowler. You want to know why they call me the expert bowler? Just watch and see. No, I'm telling you right now, that ball motion was not good. Like, that wasn't a good ball motion. The ball actually went over the nine pin, which is why you left the ten pin. It wasn't a, it wasn't a flat ten. It, it, now the head pin came across, took it out. I give you the strike, but I'm telling you right now, if you have that ball motion, you are dead. Well, we will see who wins this game and what the score is in the end. I am the expert both. I know what's going on. You want to know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I'm looking real good right now. That's what I'm thinking. All right, we got Ron here. He ain't had no shots. Oh boy. Oh, uh, him, him in trouble. You should have took some practice. I should have practiced. It's all right. It's all right. I ain't got Listen. no practice. It don't matter. It was my first shot, and even no warm-up. I saw a little bit of motion, but not enough motion. I had to make a move. How you plan to attack this spare, though? So, I got one ball. I'm on a house shot, so I'm going to hook it. Now, I'm going to hook a whole lot, so I'm going to stay a little bit cautious, but I'm going to hook it at the spare. If I was, if I had my spare ball, I would shoot it at an angle at it. Right, right. Yeah. All right. It's not too bad. So, I know you all are thinking, right, that Ron's at a disadvantage because John John struck and Chris struck and Ron got an open. But ultimately, depending on how the game goes, Ron could be at the biggest advantage because he could bowl 279, where if we open, we can only bowl 260 or 250. So, it's not really so terrible. Oh, wow. So, all right, John John. John John struck. John John struck again. That was a little left. So, 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 what you thinking, John John? What you thinking? I see I got a little hold there. I got a little hold, so I got a little shim room. If I miss left, I put a little firmer than that. So, I can play it in there, but I'm really not trying to throw it in there. Shot to shot. Okay, okay. So Chris is actually up now, so we're going to switch to the camera around. So I learned a lot on my first shot. One, my ball is definitely too straight, but that's okay because I'm actually going to surface the bowling ball. Now, normally you can't do that during competition, but this is not USB-C nor sanctioned. So as a result of that, I'm going to use the technology that I have to my advantage, and I'm going to surface my bowling ball with a true cut sanding pad before my next shot. Hey, 
That's in. That was a better, that was in, but it was a better pitch. That ball actually went to the pins really, really well. So Chris is, he's looking at his chest kind of pumping out a little bit. He's pretty excited about that one. So let me show you one of the benefits of not bowling in station competition, but in unstation competition. Because I realize that my ball is not performing enough. So I'm actually going to use a nice little 1500 grit true cut pad. And I'm going to surface the bowling ball. Because surface is your friend, especially when your bowling ball is not hooked in. <laughs> I tell you what, he better get it right. Because me and John John, we got a few strikes. Feeling ourselves right now. I'm definitely feeling myself. I'm the expert bowler. I'm never worried. I strike until the lane just cut off. Hey, you see, I got it on my shirt right here. A little dust. I made a little dust. Let me go ahead and rub it on them six pack right there. Uh. Anyway, all right, so now I got a little more service on my ball, which is going to increase my hook. Let's get up close and personal with this one. Let's try to check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah, he definitely put some surface on there. He definitely has some extra hook. Definitely has some extra hook there. Now, it's a double-edged sword because I also have to get the spare, too. But I'm going to break my wrist and throw the ball to... 